<laughs> um, you might not think North Dakota is a big export state. We are. Mm -hmm. We live and die by exports. And a lot of our small businesses, whether it's a wheelchair ramp business or whether it's a, a small business developing a value-added product, we know that 95% of all consumers live outside this country. We just went through an extended debate with a lot of pontificating on the floor about exports, a lot about trade, and then we take one of the most critical trade tools, export tools, and we put it in limbo and jeopardy, and we kick the can down the road and don't give certainty to American businesses. We already have people here who are losing business today, losing business because of the monkey business that's going on in the United States Senate and in this Congress. It is time that we step up and start talking about the real life consequences of what's going on here. We spent um, an interesting uh, two hours in the banking committee yesterday. We had our first hearing on the XM Bank, um, basically talking about oversight, not a hearing on the Kirk Heitkamp bill. Um, but I will tell you tomorrow, we will hear from uh, Chairman Hochberg, and we expect that will be an interesting discussion. And so we are ready to move this bill. We work very, very hard to make this bill bipartisan. This bill is ready to go. We can do this tomorrow. We can give Stephen the 100% uh, disabled vet the certainty his business needs tomorrow if we have the political will. The real, the real thing that's going on here is most people know we need to reauthorize the XM Bank. I, you know, but, but they don't want their fingerprints on it because it might injure them with an ideological group that doesn't agree with the export import. And so it is time that people step up. They step up for American jobs. This bill is about American jobs. It's about small business. It's about making sure that we're competitive in an incredibly competitive global world. And so um, we're quite passionate about this, as you can see. I think you're going to see all of us taking to the floor, telling stories about what's happening in our state and really beginning that discussion of making this a very, very high priority um, by the end of June because that's when the bank charter expires. So we'd be glad to answer any questions about the bill after you hear from some of our business people. Yeah.